Hi friends, it's coffee time this morning. It's July 8th, 2019, and something big is about to happen here at my house. That is that today, this morning, I am supposed to get my fiber optic internet connection installed. So this one is going to be short and sweet. I'm trying to uh, make this introduction before they come. Uh, I want to start this video with an apology. My 4th of July video where I showed you, as a matter of fact, I still got it here, the big firecracker, and then, it's okay, I'm not going to blow it up. I made it blow up and I turned up the volume. I am truly sorry. I got several comments that people were wearing headphones or earbuds and it hurt their ears. That will never happen again on my channel. And please accept my apology. I was not thinking clearly enough on that one. Uh, so, fiber optic today. Woo woo. Uh, the other thing that's going on is tomorrow is the day of the arrival of our 18 year old granddaughter and two of her. Oh, there goes that plane. I've been trying to get it. Missed it again. I will get it. There's uh, one of those uh, kind of airplanes that's just a, a wing and a lawnmower motor. What do they call them? Powered hang gliders. It flies back and forth past here, and I hear it, and I try to run out and get a picture of it for you, and I keep missing it. Well, I will get it. <laughs> Please subscribe. You'll get to see the hang glider. <laughs> Ah, uh, where were we? Oh, uh, my granddaughter, who just graduated from high school, and two of her friends are coming to visit. So they arrive tomorrow. It'll be busy times, and I'm sure I'll be able to take you along for part of the ride on that. The rest of this video is just going to be some, uh, uh, like I sometimes call it, potpourri. It's random clips that I save here and there, you know, a meal at a restaurant. Oh, I found a picture of the Glen Yarborough's lighthouse that uh, the trees had grown up and I couldn't get on my drive on the south side of Lake Chapala. Um, oh, and I've got uh, 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 one minute of video of the trees in my yard blowing on the day that they got the big international news hailstorm in Guadalajara. Anyway, short video today. Please enjoy. I'll be back with more soon. Oh, one more thing while I'm thinking about it. I have not run out of neighborhoods to tour you around on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Uh, I've got a few more of those in mind and uh, they'll be fun. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I keep getting questions about did we get any hail on that day that the big international hailstorm story hit Guadalajara. Nope, that's thunder you hear, but we didn't get any hail on this side of the mountains near Lake Chapala. Just this wind. And it was a wind. This is one of my favorite pictures from a trip to the beach. That's Mount Kalima, the volcano of fire erupting behind my old south wind motorhome. So we're at the smokehouse and this is the brisket with a green salad and onion rings. And Lynn is having french fries and ribs. How's the ribs, cutie? Oh, real good. Really good. Yeah? And very tender. Better than my brisket? No, that's awesome <laughs> too. This is the smokehouse in West Ahihik. And that's the smoker. Well, that's one of them. And that's the other one. And there's another one. The wrong kind of smoking. 
Well, for those of you who always like my dog content, you'll like this. Turns out your dog can get a passport at the agricultural window at the airport in Guadalajara, which facilitates coming and going through the border. What that says in Spanish is that it's a program for pets who frequently travel. Glen Yarborough's Lighthouse. The second floor was set up as an office library. And when I was there, the pedestal for the light on the top floor was installed, but the big light wasn't there yet. Miss Lynn and her four pound turnips. She let them grow to see how big they'd get. Of course, they weren't any good to eat because they were all pithy when they get to be that big. This is the Cosmo Vitral, which means the virtual cosmos, in Toluca, Mexico, east of Mexico City, and it's very beautiful stained glass, and it's an arboretum with all of the plant names there. If you look down in the lower left corner, you will see a man which will give you some sense of the size of this beautiful place. This is a Zumba class at the Hotel Italiano. The Hotel Italiano is attached to the main church in Ahihik. My friend took these scorpions out of a jar of alcohol. He soaks them and then he rubs the tincture on his arthritic knees. Says it helps. I don't know. More time, Lori. How do you spell your name? L O R R I. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to forget that. <laughs> I don't think you are either. I'm so glad you said. How do you spell that? Where are you going? He's building his web, I know, I see him now. I and see him. he has incorporated yeah. both of the pull cords for the lamp fix. He's got them both tugged over there. She. She. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 do not fall on me. No, no. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Do not fall. You fall, you die. Or one of us does. Because I will jump back off of here and fall down and hit my head. Well, as my friend uh, Camper Van Kevin always says, thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, let's see, how does he do it? Today, I am in Ahihik, Jalisco, Mexico. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.